Assalamu alaikum dear students I hope you all are fine and doing well I am Saman Ajaz your English instructor This video lesson is for grade 4 So students this is the part of our assignment Now moving towards our Oxford Discover student book unit 2 page number 16 get ready First we have got our part A Listen and say the words then read and listen to the sentences Now here we have got a group of words. First of all, what you have to do is to listen to me very carefully and repeat each word after me. And then we have got sentences of these words as well. Our first word is astronomer. Space probe. Core. Gravity. Orbit. Matter. distance diameter surface craters unique now moving towards our statements statement number 1 the astronomer studied the moons of jupiter second statement scientists sent a space probe to mars third the core of earth is 1800 miles below the surface fourth without gravity people on earth would float into the air fifth earth's orbit around the sun is not a perfect circle sixth planets and stars are full of matter Seventh, there is a big distance between the sun and earth. Eighth, the diameter of Venus is similar to the diameter of earth. Ninth, many plants and animals live on our planet's surface. Tenth, you can see the moon craters with a telescope. Eleventh, Earth is unique because it has living creatures. So students now moving towards our part E. Words in context. Scan the reading on pages 18 and 19 and circle these words. As you read, guess what the words mean. Now here you have been provided with four words. When you are listening to the audio text, what you have to do is to circle these words from your text. Our first word is bodies, explore, inner, outer. So students here we have got an audio text now what you have to do is to listen to it very carefully and then read it your own self in order to improve your pronunciation Page 18 Read Traveling together around the sun The sun is a star and it is very important for our planet earth It gives us light and heat However earth is not alone It shares the sun with seven other planets. Together these planets revolve around the sun in a solar system. Other bodies travel in this solar system such as moons, asteroids and comets. They all move around the sun because the sun's gravity is very strong. Each planet's path around the sun is called an orbit. The planets that are closer to the sun have smaller orbits. So they take less time to go around it. Mercury takes 88 days to complete one orbit. Earth completes one orbit in 365 days or one year. Neptune's orbit takes 60,200 days or almost 165 years. Each planet in our solar system is unique. For example, Mercury is the smallest planet. It has lots of craters just like our moon. Jupiter is the biggest planet. Its diameter is 11 times bigger than Earth's. Saturn has giant rings of matter around it. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. Mars is a neighboring planet and scientists are learning a lot about it. They send many space probes to Mars. 
A space probe called Curiosity landed on Mars on August 6, 2012. Curiosity is as big as a car and it moves over the surface of Mars. It recently found rocks that had strange shapes. Running water made these shapes. This is an important discovery. Space probes like Curiosity continue to explore the planets, moons and other bodies in our solar system. If technology continues to grow, we will travel to these places ourselves. Iron and rock make up most of the four smaller inner planets of our solar system. Gas and water make up most of the four larger outer planets. This means that you can stand on the surface of Earth, but you can't stand on Saturn. In fact, if you tried to stand on Saturn, you would sink down to the core of the planet. Drawings of our solar system show the planets close to the Sun. However, the distance between the planets and the Sun is very far. For example, it would take 176 years to drive a car from Earth to the Sun. It would take 5,300 years to drive from Neptune to the Sun. Astronomers think that there are many solar systems in our Milky Way galaxy. However, our solar system is special to us. It is our home. The Asteroid Belt An asteroid belt runs between the inner and outer planets. Scientists have discovered over 7,000 asteroids there, and there may be millions more. Asteroids travel around the Sun, just like planets. The Sister Planets did you know that Earth and Venus are called sister planets? This is because they are almost the same size and Venus is the closest planet to Earth. However, Venus is much hotter than Earth and it is always covered in thick clouds. Students, I hope you all enjoyed this text. Now what the text was about? It's basically about traveling together around the sun. Now, as we have learned, the Sun is a star and our most important planet is Earth, that is the planet on which we live. This is the only planet on which life exists. We have got other planets as well and they have got unique features. The unique features of other planets include Mercury that completes its orbit around the Earth Sun in 88 days, whereas Earth completes its orbit in 365 days that makes a year, whereas Neptune takes much much longer to complete its orbit around the Sun because Neptune's orbit is much longer as compared to Earth and Mercury. Now Mercury is our smallest planet whereas Jupiter is our largest and the biggest planet. And the unique feature of Saturn is that it has got giant rings around it. The planet that is furthest from the Sun is Neptune. Mars is our neighboring planet and scientists are trying to discover life on Mars. They have sent a lot of space probes there as well. Next they have told us that iron and rock are two of the most important matters that are making the inner and the outer of the smaller planets. So students, astronomers have also made a prediction that there are many solar systems just like our, our solar system that are present in the Milky Way galaxy. However, our solar system is very important because it is the home where we live. So students, this was the end of our video, that is our part 1. I hope you enjoyed this text and I hope you enjoyed learning about the solar system. I will meet you next time with another very interesting and amazing video. Until then, take care, Allah Hafiz.